What's up, everyone? Welcome to Ray Prime TV, your trusted source for news, stories, and updates from around the world. Be sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all our latest content. Let's stay connected and keep the conversation going. Headline, Zuma and Malima unite against DA, ANC coalition, a new era in South African politics. In a move that could potentially shake up the political landscape in South Africa, former President Jacob Zuma's Yumkonto Wisiswi, MK, party has joined forces with the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, and the United Democratic Movement, UDM, to form a progressive caucus in parliament. This alliance aims to challenge the newly formed coalition government between the African National Congress, ANC, and the Democratic Alliance, DA. The ANC, which has been in power for three decades, recently formed a coalition with the DA after its vote share plummeted to 39.7% in the 2024 elections. This coalition has been met with criticism from many, including Zuma, who has called it meaningless and an unholy alliance led by white interests. The Progressive Caucus, which holds nearly 30% of the seats in the National Assembly, aims to counter what they see as the rise of right-wing forces opposed to economic freedom, radical economic transformation, racial equality, and land repossession. Namilo Endela, MK's spokesperson, stressed the importance of this united effort and indicated that the MK party plans to raise its allegations of a rigged election in both Parliament and the courts. Christopher Van Doan, a senior research fellow at Chatham House, highlights the challenges this new coalition faces. The ANC is creaking at the seams and wounded by the success of Jacob Zuma's MK. Alliance with the DA may be tricky to sell to party members, he said. Van Doan adds that the internal dynamics of the ANC, a broad church with various factions, will significantly impact coalition negotiations. The formation of the Progressive Caucus and the entry of MK into parliamentary politics mark a significant shift in South African politics. Van Doan observes, the rise of MK has allowed ANC top brass to blame their electoral underperformance solely on MK and not on their own governance record, potentially enabling the ANC to reform and rejuvenate its core principles. However, the success and stability of these new political alignments remain uncertain as South Africa navigates this complex transition. The country is watching with bated breath as these political heavyweights navigate the complex web of coalition politics. As the Progressive Caucus prepares to take on the ANCDA coalition, many are wondering what this means for the future of South African politics. Will this new alliance be able to bring about the change that many are craving, or will it succumb to the same internal conflicts that have plagued the ANC for so long? One thing is certain, however, the political landscape in South Africa has changed forever, and the next few months will be crucial in determining the direction that the country will take. Will the Progressive Caucus be able to bring about a new era of economic freedom and radical economic transformation, or will the ANCDA coalition maintain its grip on power? Only time will tell. In the meantime, South Africans are eagerly watching the developments in Parliament hoping that their leaders will put aside their differences and work towards a better future for all. As the country navigates this complex transition, one thing is certain, the future of South African politics has never been more uncertain.